it is not always possible for doctors to recognize a child's developmental abnormality before he or she is born. This story happened a long time ago, back in 1985. It was in that year that I met Victor. We fell in love with each other with mad strength. Two months later I realized that I was pregnant. We decided to get married. I was already 32 years old at the time. It was about time to become a mother. We had a gorgeous wedding. I wore an incredibly beautiful dress. We celebrated the wedding at the best restaurant in our town. For the wedding our relatives gave us a wall, but the factory where we worked, gave us a car. I gave birth to a baby girl on the due date. I was so happy. I felt like I had given birth to a healthy baby. I didn't even pay attention to the fact that the nursing staff looked at me and my baby in a weird way. But when they didn't bring my baby to me for feeding, I realized that something strange was going on. I demanded that they bring me my daughter. But they wouldn't let me have my baby. And then a nurse said to me, yes, your daughter has Down syndrome. My husband said you're going to give her up anyway. What? I screamed to the whole hospital. What right do you have to dispose of my child without even asking my opinion? Yes, I'll complain to you. Bring me my baby right now. Except for Down syndrome, my baby was perfectly healthy. The next day Victor came in and started trying to convince me to give up our daughter. They said she would ruin our lives and if I take her home, he will definitely divorce me. I told him that I will not leave my daughter. And I'll ask for a divorce myself because he betrayed both of us. I took my daughter from the hospital. I named her Xenia. I did everything to make sure she would grow up to be a good person. Now my daughter is working. I am very proud of her.